This is a second video on conspiracy theories. Uh, my first one dealt with uh, where a lot of us start off from. Now, the, my next one's dealing with uh, evidence. Proofs of a conspiracy, if you will. <laughs> yeah, almost nobody gets that joke. It's one thing to say, isn't it interesting that this happened around that time? Yet if you can't definitively link it to some aspect of the event or uh, individual in question, then it's just circumstance, making it circumstantial evidence. Uh, there's hearsay, however, if you can't verify who started the rumour, then it may have been planted by an interested party in, interested in framing or putting a, the wrong light on a subject. So that's hearsay. Once again, not a good source of evidence. And the best sorts are, in fact, and then there's absence of evidence. Now, unfortunately, absence of evidence is probably at once a very... It's not a great source of information because, duh, there's no information there. However, an absence of procedure or of logic can occasionally mark the best debunking of an official or given story for something. Like, if this happened this way, then why isn't this present or this accounted for? And if the answer is, well, nobody knows, then congratulations, uh, you've got cause for suspicion. Now you can, and that brings, and that'll bring me on to my third video. Anyway, I'll get to it in a sec.